In this presentation, we will take a look at multiple choice questions related to corporations. First question, primary class of stock, A, preferred stock, B, normal stock, C, common stock, D, standard stock, and E, stock. So let's go through this again. We're gonna say, use the process of elimination, see if we can eliminate some of these options and narrow them down. Primary class of stock, A, preferred stock. So the primary class where I'm thinking the question is trying to ask, what's the most you know, normal share of stock? What's the, if we buy stock in a corporation, what are the primary stockholders shares? Preferred stock uh, is not them. That's gonna be a preferred or kind of a special stock or a different stock. Um, it's not really preferred in all, it's preferred in terms of it gets paid dividends before other stocks, but it has benefits and, and uh, negatives to other types of stocks. So it's not preferred stock. Normal stock, which that seems kind of like it might be a normal stock, so I'll keep that for now. Common stock, now that one probably rings a bell. We might hear common stock, that kind of rings a bell. The D says standard stock, which sounds nice because it has two S's in it and whatnot, but I don't think that's a thing. I don't think there's a standard stock, so I'm gonna cross that for now. And then E says stock, and that doesn't really expand on what type of stock, so uh, it's just a normal stock, so I'm gonna say that's probably not it. So we're between B and C, we'll go through this again. Primary class of stock is either B or C, either normal stock or common stock. And between those two, common stock is probably the one that sounds more familiar because that's the most common form of stock. So the prime, so last, last run here, the primary class of stock is C, common stock. Next question. Stockholders' equity includes A. Fixed assets B. Paid in capital and retained earnings C. Unearned revenue D. Current assets and E. Discounts We'll go through this again and see if we can use the process of elimination to narrow this down. Stockholders' equity includes A. Fixed assets now the equity section is, you know, the accounting equation is assets, liabilities, and equity. And so if, it, if the term has assets in it, probably not part of the equity section most likely. So it's not gonna be A, it's not gonna be any kind of asset, whether it be fixed, current, non-current. <laughs> uh, so B says paid in capital and retained earnings. For a corporation, we may not know what paid in capital is or retained earnings, but uh, we probably recognize retained earnings as part of the equity section. So I'm gonna keep that for now. Uh, C says unearned revenue. Now that one could be confusing because we have the term revenue in it, and we know that revenue is kind of an income statement account, but unearned revenue is actually a liability account. It represents, you know, we um, got paid and we didn't yet do the work. And so liabilities aren't gonna be in the equity section. So uh, then D says current assets. And again, it's an asset, it's not an equity thing. It says asset in the name, so it's not that. And then E says discounts. And discounts is, is generally on, uh, it could be on the income statement uh, as a, like a contra revenue account, a sales discount at least. So possibly, you know, we can think of that as part of equity in a way because it closes out the net income and net income is part of equity. So I'm gonna keep B and E and go through this again. Stockholders equity includes either B or E either paid in capital and retained earnings, or E, discounts. So of those two, I would think that retained earnings is most familiar because that's clearly in the equity section. And then it's between paid in capital and discounts. And between those two, paid in capitals is actually in the equity section. Whereas discounts is kind of part of net income, which would roll into uh, retained earnings. So that would be, I guess, less correct. Most correct would be the B, as the correct answer. Last time, stockholders' equity includes B, paid in capital and retained earnings.